I see my big giant head. Hi everybody, it's Big Ed Mustafa. Welcome to Adventures After Dark. I'm your host, I'm Big Ed Mustafa, and tonight we're going to continue the adventures of Mandalinia. She is a runekeeper. She's on Evernight. She's level 95 with a bullet. Uh, she is coming fresh off of our group's completion of Dragox Lair on Wednesday. I had never had a chance to do that raid previously, and uh, we were a little overpowered, but uh, we went through and uh, completed it, and uh, it was very cool. It was a lot of fun. So, we did the Tier 2 12 Man, and uh, I think I got burned up once or twice running down the, uh, the ramps, but uh, no harm, no foul. And... Uh, yeah, a little dragon breath just to keep things uh, interesting. But uh, I was going to continue her uh, quests in Western Rohan tonight. So I thought that would be as interesting as anything else I could come up with. I've been having fun running her through there and am not too terribly far away from being done with Western Rohan. So let's go see what we can get done tonight, shall we? I hope everybody had a good week. You're getting set for a big old weekend. You got some fun plans. Uh, we're supposed to have a really cold uh, Arctic wind move in out of the north tonight. So my plan is to huddle at home and try to curl up next to Mrs. Mustafa to stay warm. Um, her plan will probably be to punch and claw me and try to get away from me as much as she can. Thank you, Pookie. Mrs. Mustafa has just brought this evening's snack, queso-flavored ruffled potato chips, uh, courtesy of our local neighborhood Walmart. Ooh, excuse me, I think these are the Great Value bread. They're quite yummy. If you like uh, cheesy potato chips with a little bit of a spice, this is a good combination. It's a happy thing. It's only like a buck eighty-eight for a giant bag of them too. It's kind of dangerous. And that yawn is an indicator that I need to crack open one of these. So without further ado, not an official sponsor, but they do provide the life-giving caffeine I need to keep going. Oh, that's the stuff right there, baby. First Coke Zero of the day. Um, I had a cup of hot tea and a couple big glasses of water at work. And I had Diet Dr. Pepper with lunch. So this is my first Coke Zero today. That was necessary. So... Yeah, I've got some stuff I could be doing. I've been trying to get finished up over here by uh, Woodhurst and the Stone Deans. And these quest lines just seem to keep going on forever. Um, so if you saw the tweet, I mentioned the Marton farmlands. Um, I'll probably be heading over there shortly. See what the hobbitses have for me, shall we? Massive pile of copper scraps. And some virtue points. Good deal. Well, I've been a little bit short on cash, so it's a good thing I got those copper scraps. This will come in handy. What do I have for quests? Let's take a look. Uh, a daring escape. Broad acres. Stop the motion. Kingstead. The road to Dunharrow. Lothlorien missions. I got a bunch of Moria stuff still tagged. I wonder why. Uh, Norcross, Stone Deans. 
Invitation for a drink. The Wold, Wailing Hills. Yeah, Wailing Hills is Westfold, what we got. Marton, Marton, search for Eric Brand, or Erkin Brand, rather. And to the Westfold. We'll tag that one. Gandalf can be found upon the road in the center of the Westfold, no less. All right, well, maybe we'll go do that. I'm going to go have a drink with uh, Cairn, though. That door just closed. Oh, Callan, excuse me. Hi, Callan. Let's go grab a beer. Arnwy invited Callan for a drink at the nearby inn. Herobrand is suspicious and requested you accompany Callan. You will not like the answer to that question. I cannot believe it. Are you working with the Dunlending? One's quietly pillaging our fair city and killing our people. You are too quick to judge. There are two sides to every story. Only one mead hall full of dead bodies, though. Have you forgotten how many years they were mistreated, ridiculed? The Dunlending have more claim to this land than the Rohirrim. They were here long before the Rohirrim came. Hello? Well, is that my old friend SKDX Killer, aka Shirtless Nick? Did you know that Lord of the Rings is the number one trilly? I've heard of this. Yeah. Aurora put it back in my head after I'd forgotten about it, and now I can't stop. So, like, during our last game of Overwatch, I'm like, did you guys know? Yeah, Zinger was kind enough to bring up the number one trilly video from the Colbert show. Posted yeah, in Discord, so... Yeah, he, watched, he literally watched it within, like, minutes of it being published. I got my Nintendo Switch today. I was highly amused. Congratulations on your Nintendo Switch. Is it everything you hoped and dreamed it would be? Yeah. Neat with the bomb gifts. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I asked my niece what she wanted for Christmas, and she's like, uh, gum? Like, that's what you want for Christmas, is gum? Gum? Like, physical gum? Yeah, like chewing gum, like bubble gum. That's a weird thing to ask for if you want it, okay. Well, and I finally got her to admit that she kind of wanted this book, too. So... Book. Uh, what? Terrible? C-A-R-A-V-A-L. I will believe you, though. It looks like some kind of tweener book. So, she'll, I found it. I found a whole trilogy in hardcover, so I ordered her the whole set. Nice. And uh, a bucket of 300 pieces of uh, double bubble. So, oh, good times. Yeah. There is no lack of good things Good news, Reeve. Your number one advisor, Callan, is dead. 
You're welcome. My mom's boyfriend sent me another Jedi holocron. I need a few I'm like, what am I going to do with this? I don't know. It's pretty thoughtful of him, though. That's what I said. I was like, it's a good thought. Even if Star like, Wars isn't the number one trilogy. I do like Star Wars, but I have nothing to do with uh, the holocron stuff. Yeah, it's okay. Man Bear J checking in. Hello, Man Bear J. I'd like to play the flute with you guys one time. I'm sure we would enjoy that as well, Jay. Thank you so much for suggesting Remember it. Remember that time we all boarded Buckleberry Ferry? <laughs> ah, Jay. So I was playing Diablo 3 last night on hard mode for the first time and realized it is actually way more fun playing on anything besides normal. Well, there you go. No danger, no thrill. So I got the switch from Nate, my mom. I got um a hundred dollars from D to Dunkin' Donuts that my dad's just gonna give me a hundred dollars cash for. Again? Um, you got another hundred dollar yeah. gift card to Dunkin'? Yeah, I was like, I'm like, I don't want like this is literally the, like gonna feed bad things. Maybe she wants you to go into law enforcement. SKDX's mother is a police officer, so she's probably just donut donut centric. Also, um, yeah, I got the switch from Nate, and then I got a uh, Mario Party. And Pokemon. And then there's a few that are Best Buy has a few on sale right now that I'm gonna be looking at tomorrow. So if you are out there, go go Gus says, can use housing items, snowballs, and frost bluff session. Okay. Um, yeah, if you're in chat and you have a Nintendo Switch, just call out some of your favorite games so Nick can get some ideas on what to pick up. Right now I have uh, Pokemon Diamond and I have Mario Party. I'm looking at Mario Kart and possibly Smash Brothers to get, but trying to save some money when I, while I can. You should probably pre-order your copy of Man Bear J's Flute Party for the Nintendo Switch. It's going to be a bestseller. You're going to want to get in on that. It's weird they said it was free, but they said that I would probably get a, a vector disease afterwards. Ski checking in. Hi, Ski. Oh, I forgot to post my Twitter, uh, my Twitch gear recap. I'll have to do that. You will. I'm gonna have to. I would shout you out, but technically you're not in chat, so. Because I had my own stream earlier and I have not gotten off that screen yet. Oh, Insight Stream Summer. I guess since you're a friend of Jay's, I'll shout you out. What? That's why? Yeah. to Twitch Analytics. You are my viewer that has the most in common with me. Wow. 45%, whatever the heck that means. I feel special now. I am I special know, Ed. The whole month. Special. I am Simple Jack. Apparently Dodgeball, the movie, is free on YouTube right now. Ooh, I'll have to let Mrs. M know. It's a good movie, huh? One of her favorites. It is one of my favorites. Throws a wrench. If you can dodge a ball, dodge a wrench. 
It's purple it's digital here, right? Cram it in your cram hole, Lafleur. Hey guys, he's with me. <laughs> Jay is also got getting an upgrade to his microphone. Elgato has got a hold of him. Special Ed and Simply Jack. I'm afraid of what is happening to these lands. She's afraid of what's happening to these lands. Basically, Sauron's coming in, gentrifying the whole area and jacking up rent. I do not know if we will survive this price onslaught. everybody out of the market. Oh, so my dad got an off. Like, there, some dude went like to my dad's house today and wanted to like look at he's wanted to buy my dad's house for a hundred thousand over what it was when he bought it yeah that's the real estate market right now he's like hey, i bought it for two hundred thousand back in 2017 it's now worth three hundred and one thousand i was like what i do not know if we will survive this onslaught i do not know if we will survive this onslaught I'm supposed to be feeding the horses. This horse looks hungry. These are desperate times for the Rohirrim. I am afraid of what is happening to these lands. I do not know if we will survive this onslaught. These are desperate times for the Rohirrim. Well, there we go. This is an odd quest mechanic. Instead of clicking on the horses to feed them, you have to stand next to them. I always had trouble with this the first few times I did it. Why is this working the way it's supposed to? Hard hit checking in. Hello, hard hit. I knew what you meant, go, go, Gus. That's okay. Simple jack. I very, very, very much enjoyed Tropic Thunder. In fact, I'm sure I have it on DVD. It might be Tom Cruise's finest movie ever. I do not know if we will survive this onslaught. I am afraid of what is happening to these lands. I do not know if we will survive this onslaught. These are desperate times for the Rohirrim. Maybe instead of sitting around whining about it, you should just get to Helm's Deep. Guess he'd rather whine. I know, we just got fired up and the stream's already off to a great start. I got Nick and Hard Hit and Jay and Go Go Gus and Skis here and it's just great to see you guys all. It's a terrific way to start my weekend.
Apparently the mead hall is closed. If I want mead, I will have to look elsewhere. You caught a little bit of Dragok on Wednesday, didn't you, Nick? already put Nick to sleep. Ooh. Just like that, he's faded out on me. Who? You. What am I doing? Sorry, I was watching a video. Oh, I just said, you you caught a bit of Dragok on Wednesday night, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I watched him uh, like 10 minutes of it. Like, I was watching, he was like, exhaling. Like, basically, you beat him. I watched you beat like the whatever the end part of him was. Apparently you have to Ooh. split into two groups. While the tank uh, fights the dragon's head, the rest of the crew goes down below and, like, kills the dragon's claws. It's a strange fight. It's fun, though. Ooh, there's a task board here, Nick. I could do task item turn-ins. Always do your task items every day, Nick. They're good and good for you. Okay. Need to go get me some of that Helmingus rep. Well, you'd think as many epic battles as we've done, I'd probably be good to go with those guys, but maybe not. I think somewhere there's some more wooden planks. Where are the wooden planks? Might be some clear down here if I remember. Nope. There's some wooden planks. Place the barricades. I'm afraid of what is happening to these lands. Barricades back here? Okay. Big plans for the weekend, Nick? In Spider Man tomorrow. Oh, you got your tickets? Uh, my buddy pre ordered them like two weeks ago. Cool. Yep. It's Rushi checking in. Hi, Rushi.
Jay's getting his booster jab tomorrow. That should be fun. Stokesiford checking in. Hi, Stokesiford. Ginger checking in. Hi, Ginger. These are desperate times for the Rohirrim. I need to collect berries. Hey, we're in the middle of a war and I have to evacuate this entire town. Could you go pick some berries? Yeah, let me do that for you. Do you stream tomorrow as well? I will be streaming on my personal channel, probably Apex Legends. Um, I think we've talked about this before. I'm usually significantly different playing that game, and not in a good way. The calm, collected, and relaxed Big Ed Mustafa uh, usually doesn't show up when I'm streaming Lotro. Uh, I suppose the, the best comparison would be I'm kind of like an overzealous Little League dad. What? Are you kidding me? That's a bunch of crap! Only with more profanity. I'm not happy that's a side of me, but it's a side of me, so... And I know that Man Bear J is a uh, huge fan and wants to join me in congratulating Mr. Keith Richards on his 78th birthday today. Jay, like myself, is a huge Stones fan and uh, holds uh, Keith in very, very high esteem, as do I. And would like to wish Mr. Richards a happy 78th. He is our quote of the day. It's a privilege just to wake up to a new day. Keith Richards. Man's worth almost a half a billion dollars, still cuts his own hair. I am afraid of what is happening to these lands. Fill the Thane's water skin? Okay. Oh, that's why I have to go back here. It's got to be from the waterfall. The only thing I love more than the Rolling Stones is Pink Floyd and their pretentious social commentary. Monster TV says, how active is this MMO? Quite active, actually. Uh, they just released the new Gundabot expansion. Uh, there's a new Brawler class. Uh, there's uh, legendary servers as well as uh, role-playing servers, standard servers. Uh, good population, great community here on Twitch. And one of the best free-to-play experiences of any MMO. You don't have to pay a nickel to thoroughly enjoy the game. These are desperate times for the Rohirrim. I do not know if we will survive this onslaught. Ah, 
I do not know if we will survive this onslaught. Jay's favorite band is Pink Floyd. Even his ringtone is Wish You Were Here. Val checking in? Hi, Val. <laughs> Stokesford says, Definitely sounds like I would prefer Chill Dad Ed. Yeah, you're not wrong. I prefer Chill, D Ed, Chill Ed too. Got a good turnout tonight? We're just getting warmed up. Actually, Nick was laughing at me last week. We had... Eh, not quite 50 viewers in here, but man, 11, 11, 15 hit, and I'd had a long work week, and I was like, man, I'm so glad you're all here. I'm going to bed. Let's go raid somebody. I was just pooped out early. I'm hoping I can go the duration tonight. Hard hit, no matter what you do, do not shout out Val. Because I already got it covered. Cross the bridge to leave Gaphold. Lord of the Rings is the number one trailer. I don't know, is it a violation to These pay that, are do you desperate think? times for the Rohirrim. Even Colbert might want to sue for everything. Good looking out, Ed. What is the best server to join? Um, that's a great question. Uh, Evernight and Arkenstone are two of the most heavily populated ones. Uh, <laughs> but frankly, there's no bad servers. They all have good populations. And the difference between the busiest and the quietest server isn't that big of a difference. It's not like one of them has ten times more players than the other. Uh, we ride for Woodhurst and for Glory. Oh, I got to travel to the mine. All right. I think I got to go fight a bunch of orcs. I'm okay with that. Did you collect berries for all the people of the town? Uh, that's a good question. I just, I picked eight berry bushes, so I don't know if that was all the Thane wanted, or... Thane might have just been like, You, peasant, go fetch me berries. I'm like, okay. Job's done. And for glory. And for glory. I always try to sound real heroic whenever I can. Hey, it's Ryushi knows me too well. Whatever he did with those eight berry bushes that I picked, I have no idea.
But the best part about Lord of the Rings Online, if you haven't played it before, is there's some really terrific storytelling. It's not just a collection of leveling zones. The world feels coherent, and the narrative is good to the point where you feel like there's stuff going on even when you're not there. Now what have I done? Dunlending Slayer of the Westament Advanced Completed. Very nice. That's weird, I thought there was another pickaxe down here somewhere. Ooh, the other overseer I need to murder. Well, what did you do, Ed? Don't be like me, boys and girls. Lock your skill bars so you don't accidentally drag them off in the middle of a fight. I'm I'm just I'm not smart. Ooh, now what did I do? Quests of the Stone Deans complete. some white hand warriors. There we go. Some poor helpless Dunlendinger just minding his own business, mining some rock. Boom! Hit by lightning. The toughest part about these scaffoldings is finding your way off of these things. I think I've killed everybody. Except for that orc, he needs to die. I guess since we were joking about it. 
Colbert, number one, Curly. So I think Peter Jackson's tower. Uh, Sheer, copy. This video is about five and a half minutes long. It's probably more entertaining than anything I'll say or do tonight. So I will share it with y'all. You want to check that out? I will ride to Woodhurst. Now, I could be a little biased because I'm really sick of Woodhurst and I'm looking forward to getting out of here. But, uh, you know, we'll try to keep things lively. Gippio checking in. Hey, Gippio. Oh, you missed Dragok on Wednesday. It was super chill. These are desperate times for the Rohirrim. Glad to see Omaha didn't blow away this week. Yeah, it was pretty touch and go, but yeah, we survived. Yeah, we had some tornadoes and some 70 to 100 mile per hour winds Thursday. It wasn't boring. Or was it Wednesday? I don't remember. I guess it was Wednesday. So here's a pet peeve of mine. Whoever the designated uh, safety coordinator was at the operations center, we're upstairs and we can't really hear over the PA system and we kind of knew that there was a storm warning, but we didn't know if it was a thunderstorm warning, if it was a tornado. Somebody said something over the PA system, but they moved us into a, a dark, dark corner of the building where you can't really hear that good. So we kind of knew that people were headed downstairs to ride out the storm. And a few of us took our sweet time getting down there. And I walked out the, the hallway by the, the loading dock, looked out the window and saw that the wind was blowing about 80 miles an hour. And I thought, you know, yeah, I may as well go hang out downstairs. So I jump in the freight elevator and I ride down and it's it's one story. It's not like it was a long elevator ride. And as soon as I step out of the elevator, this guy's like, "You didn't come down the elevator, did you?" I'm like, "Yeah." "Oh, you shouldn't be taking the elevator during an emergency." And in the back of my head, I'm thinking, "Let's see. An elevator is literally a steel box. Extremely strong structurally." And our freight elevator happens to be padded on the inside, too. Since it's a freight elevator, they've got uh, uh, moving blankets up on all the walls, so you can't ding the sides, moving stuff in and out of it. So it's a heavily padded steel box, and that steel box sits inside of a cinder block column. Uh, <laughs> and literally, in the case of a tornado, it's the safest place you could possibly be. Uh, and of course the concern is, well, you'd be trapped in there if the power got turned off. Well, we have backup generators. If the power goes out, then the generator kicks in and I'm still fine. 
And this guy just got all up in my grill. And I'm new enough there and smart enough that I was like, oh, sorry. I didn't say anything. I just, yep, sorry. Shut up. Walked away. But <laughs> I just, I was just laughing. It's like, what were you doing in the safest possible place you could be during there is no tornado? lack of things like, to be done. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. There is no lack of things to be done. This guy was using the same same playbook as if there'd been a fire. It's like, no, if there's a fire, you don't want to be in the elevator. But if it's a tornado, you kind of want to be in the elevator. I do not know if we will survive this onslaught. If it's a flood, you don't want to be in the elevator. But if I'd have known the reaction I was going to get, and how crowded it was down in the storm shelter in our building, I'd have stayed in the elevator. But it wasn't any big thing. Other than the fact that the guy said something to our boss the next day. And then when the boss came and said, You guys, you know, you need to, you know, not get in the elevator. It's, yep, okay, you're right. Because there, you just, there's things you don't argue about. I don't know what I was thinking, being inside of a padded steel box inside of a, a completely sealed up column of cinder blocks protecting me. Why would I want to be in that if a tornado hit? Other than it would basically be safe from anything short of a nuclear attack. And actually probably be the best place to be for a nuclear attack too. Did you hear about everybody dying in that nuclear attack on the ops building? Yeah, except for that Ed guy. He was in the elevator. What was he doing in the elevator? Doesn't he know not to go in I am afraid of what is happening to these lands. These are desperate times for the Rohirrim. So that was my Wednesday. The enemy no longer hides in shadows. When you're ready, we will fight our way to the Mead Hall. We ride for the Mead Hall and for glory. Thorolor says sharks. A dark power exactly. waited in the shadows of Woodhurst for the moment to strike. And watched really while the face. city's champions squabbled Sometimes among themselves. Like Madagascar penguins, now residing away. on the seat as Woodhurst's conqueror, the champions may be too weak to purge its growing influence. Where are we going, fellas? Well, I think I did this fight on Mandal or not Mandalorian, Lenorian, not too long ago, and I remember having problems with it. And the key is, don't attract too much aggro. You kind of want to let the Rohirrim go in, and then just start picking up the Dunlendingers one by one. So if you go in with a big AoE attack, they all turn and attack you, and you don't want that. Bad things can happen. Oh yeah, this captain's got some serious, uh... He's a problem. Yeah, there we go. I gotta stay away from that gun lending captain. I just happened to pick him out of the crowd. I looked up and I was like, 300,000 morale. Yeah, I didn't want to be fighting him. But I think that's really the key to the fight, is don't let the NPCs take on the heavy hitters. There's somebody else shooting us? Yeah. They're basically going to be fine over here anyway. Uh, 
There we go. Yeah, I got very annoyed trying to do that on my uh, minstrel, because it's hard not to pop AoEs as a minstrel. How do you summon Valathorn? Step one. Ed, did Peter Jackson write that rap like he wrote all the books? Yes. Canna checking in, hey Canna? Even if an elevator were the worst place to be during a tornado, you're not hurting anyone else by being there. Why is it anyone else's business? Oh, because they always have a designated safety coordinator whose literal job it is to make sure everybody follows the rules. So, yeah, that's a thing. We ride for the Mead Hall. And for glory. Now the problem with the books hard hit is that I frequently told you guys I don't know why when they hired somebody to do the novelization of the movies that the guy cut out so much of the good stuff from the movies. Um, you know, why Evangelina Lily's character was in the book. I guess the guy was just a lazy writer. I don't know what the thinking was. Why would you leave out a love story like that that was so important to the main plot line? What do you think of ESO and ES lore? Um, I'm a pretty big fan. Uh, I've got Skyrim. I've played ESO. I liked it. Um, I played a lot of Oblivion back in the day. I think I have Morrowind on the Xbox. I don't think I played a lot of it, but I have it. Um, yeah, it's a great, uh, great game world and a lot of fun. So everybody looks pretty healthy. Case where the smart thing to do is let the NPCs do all the heavy lifting. And once we've got the
half a jar of peanut butter and a half a jar of vegan mayo. That's a lot. Wicked Fast says, Hi, I heard the elevator story. I work as a chemist. Sounds like the stereotypical safety coordinator. Yeah. People hate patriarchy, but love paternalism. Yeah. Did go number two, though, so that's cool. I would think a half a jar of vegan mayonnaise would probably help you do that. Typical Tuesday night. Both of those things are good on celery. Yeah, I feel that. Celery is a nice balance. Everybody's health is fine, they not in any danger. We're all good here. I might have picked the wrong guy out of the crowd. Ray. Another example of me managing a fight poorly. Oh, 
also love the older graphics look for character models, but realistic looking buildings and nature. Music is spot on. Owen checking in. Hi, Owen. Owen was with us for Dragok. Is it Urukai? Yeah. Last scene. You haven't streamed in a while, Owen. Took a lot of Chinese medicine, though, and I feel a lot better. Nudelotro heard about Treebeard and had to try it out. Cool. Hope they have the old graphic switch button. Are we finally leaving the cellar, fellas? I have need of your help. That's a nice pair of pants. I will wear those pants. We got some enchantment runes. We got a new pair of pants. We got a class trait skill point. Pretty excited about that. So am I reading this right? I am done here in the Stone Deans finally. I can go. You don't have any more stupid stuff for me to help with. That's unfortunate. Sounds like you might just need to uninstall and then reinstall uh, OBS. Or get a new computer. That would be my solution. This computer is not doing exactly what I want it to. I will replace it with all new hardware. Title awarded Hero of the Stone Deans. We're getting a lot of those daggers off of the uh, orcs. Oh, I guess I could go do the Ent quest, but I kind of hate that quest. Still, it's up. I may as well go run it. Oof, that's harsh. Buying a pre-made PC, I don't think I could do it. I could see building a brand new machine and putting a used graphics card in it before I would buy a pre-made. Uh, in fact, I just built Mrs. Mustafa a new computer and I used that Radeon 5600G. Great processor and I can play Rocket League on that machine. Very high quality 1080p graphics at 45 frames a second. Completely playable. Uh, Pretty amazing to be able to game without a video card. And then it has the added benefit of not requiring hardly any <coughs> anything for power or cooling, because the CPU plus GPU solution is 65 watts total. So it does not take much to cool that setup. I did put in a 450 watt 
80 plus bronze CVGA power supply though. So if I ever need or want to drop a graphics card in that box, it can easily be done. But yeah, does Mrs. Mustafa play games? Only with my emotions, Jay. Only with my emotions. Um, she used to dabble a little bit. She likes Tetris. She liked that uh, the bubble popping bust a move game. But to be perfectly frank, she really doesn't have much of an attention span. Um, she mostly watches YouTube videos, works online, uh, you know, just does regular internet junk. Um, so the video setup is probably overkill. And in fact, I was thinking about building her an Intel 10400 system. And at the time I went to pull the trigger on it, those chips were sold out. And the only way you could even get an Intel chip with integrated graphics was to pay 50 bucks over retail. I was like, no, not going to do it. Completed Broadacres exploration. Now, is this a black Huron or just a Huron? That's just a Huron, so I just need to run away. There's bad Huron and then just Huron. These are just Huron. Now this Huron, I can jack him up. Black Huron. That's just a Huron. There's a black Huron. We will light him up. Be careful, you don't want to trigger a regular Huron while you're fighting fighting a black Huron. You might accidentally damage or kill the regular Huron. It's all very calculated. getting a hit. Oh, there was a buck. Alright, that makes sense. Freelancer chicken in. Hey, Freelancer. Ginger's off to bed. Ginger, thanks for coming by and saying howdy. Have a good night, hon. We will talk to you again soon, I am sure. 
fact, before you go, we'll shout out Ginger. She streams occasionally as well. As does her granddaughter, Somatome. Was Keith Richards anyway? 90? He's 78 today. In addition to having seen the Stones live four different times, I saw Keith Richards live on tour with the Expensive Winos during the uh, Main Offender tour. That was a great show. I just with, wish Man Bear J had been there with me so he could have appreciated it. He is such a fan. I'd rather watch an actual stone on stage. He looks 125. Really? I just killed a bunch of Black Hurons. I gotta go collect hearts from Black Hurons. Alright, that's why I hate this. It's just, it's unnecessarily tedious. The guy, yeah, you just go, you just killed a bunch of them. Go kill a bunch more. Okay. Is the band named after the magazine or vice versa? No relationship. Uh, it's a, just, it's an old blues phrase. Uh,. Papa was a rolling stone. Uh, there was a Muddy Waters song that the stones derived it from. All basically of the sentiment that a rolling stone gathers no moss. Regular Huron. Black Huron. You will die a slow, slow death. Oh, 
I saw somebody had done a remastered version of the old first person shooter Blood, and I almost bought it. That was funny back in the day. You could shoot dudes with a flare gun and catch them on fire and they ran screaming. That was a good time. I was back before anybody worried about what video games were doing to our fragile little minds. Did I get a black heart? Yes, I did. Huron. Black Huron? It is a black Huron. That's just a Huron. The Huron, Ron, Ron, the Huron, Ron. I don't want to harm him. Well, actually, it looks like it may not much matter now. There's a black Huron. Let's light him up. <laughs> Just a hurrah. Please, gentle tree shepherd, I come to you in peace. Although it's possible I don't need to worry about it that much anymore. Six. That's a regular Huron. Black Huron don't seem to move around as much. Maybe that's by design, so they're always in the same place and they're easier to spot? Wonder. It's quite pretty here if it wasn't for all the trees trying to murder me all the time. Six of six. Ponton Finberry checking in. Hey, Ponton. Jay, please stop. Or hard hit says, Jay says, hard hit, please stop telling people about my body pillows. That's hilarious.
Collect acorns. Ooh, I hate this quest. Ugh. Why did I accept this quest? I could have walked away. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Hello, Huron. Yeah, I think I can kill all the dang trees I want now. Classy, Ed. There we go. Okay. Where was I? Out looking for acorns.
This must have popped back up. Nobody tell Gussie Moose I accidentally hit that fawn, please. It wasn't my fault, I'm a victim. Still recovering, I have moments, just glad tornadoes didn't hit me when I went around my city in Kentucky. I'm glad you are okay, Canna. Last thing you needed was anything else on your plate to have to deal with. It's tough enough just raising hard hits kids, not getting any child support out of him. the acorns. This is the part that truly sucks. Don't you just have to walk around and look for like little outlined squares on the ground or something. to where you're going out here. There. That's that's literally it. You just have to find those squares out in the middle of the, the forest. That was one. As you get towards the end, it just it breaks completely. Okay, the regular Hurons aren't aggroing anymore, so. Well, this one is. Hey, there's a square on the ground there. And you think, well, at least the mini-map's guiding me to the spots, and the mini-map eventually breaks and is useless. And you just have to hoof it out. It's like, who designed this quest, and how hard can I punch them without them filing charges?
Canna says, plus I don't have a computer. I was hoping to bum Zinger's old computer. <laughs> Are you able to turn down ground clutter detail to help with that? Oh, that's a good point. Should you have to? Was that their design goal? Hey, let's reward players for turning down the graphical detail of our game. It is a good thought, though. See, now this is a case where I'm wondering... I'm getting that hitch again. It's happening to me Wednesday night, too. It's not as bad tonight, but... I was getting these little lag spikes where... the game would freeze up for a half a second or a second periodically. That's not the stream, that is Lopro. So if you're like, it's the stream looks a little jittery, it's it's the game. There we go. Is this Fangorn? This is kind of Fangorn light. This is like one of the edge areas of Fangorn. Planted your acorns and killed half of the forest doing it. You're welcome. I will turn this whole place into a parking lot. been to Fangorn. This area looks pretty nice. Mm, no. Avoid any area called Fangorn. Can I just dump the rest of the acorns right here, please? See, and this is when the quest tracker breaks because it's just pointing me back to that area that I was just at. So if I get lucky, I can wander into an area that's far enough away that it'll swing the quest tracker. Do you 
want to be firewood tree? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. This is where it just starts to work my last nerve. I guess the one part of Fangorn that I, I kind of liked was when you follow the trail of Merry and Pippin after um, well, who is it who kills the orcs? Is that uh, Aomer? Or is that um, Boromir's brother. Stay right there. I think it's Aomir. I think that's why his uncle's mad at him. Because Grima convinced him to not attack the orcs, and Aomir went out and did it anyway. I think that's why he's under house arrest when you arrive at Edoras. So now I'm just going to wander around in circles until I find out, by pure luck, where to deposit these last two acorns. It's really annoying. just as likely to walk me all the way back to that last spot like it is. This is where you start to get mad at the game. It's like, come on, guys. Fix your quest. And it's literally been like this for years and years and years and years and years. It's like, you know it would be awesome? As if we had our players just wandering around lost in the woods forever. That'd be so cool. You get to see Treebeard's home, that's nice. Nero says I went there after very low after very over level. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, if I weren't aggroing stuff, it would not be as annoying. But I'm going to have to kill 500 trees to plant these last two acorns. There's literally nothing I can do except walk a grid. I guess I can spam D. I don't even know if those sections of ground show up if you... Try to identify them.
See, the problem is at this point, I'm not even really looking at the ground that closely. I'm mostly just trying to scrape these trees off of me. is nice to look at. That's not wrong. Mary Rose, how was your week? You got anything fun planned for the weekend? Somewhere out here, there's two more squares outlined on the ground somewhere. Somewhere. So here's one here, and it's not searchable. That's one I've already run across. I thought at one time somebody had given me a trick to finish this and I can't remember what it is for the life of me. is useless. Well, actually it's not completely useless. It shows, well, what are those rings? Maybe? Uh, we'll head that way. the trick. Just look for the rings on the map, dummy.
Oh, there's one right here. Okay. And one way out there, huh? Alright, you say so. I guess all eight of those rings will show up on the mini-map. There we go. Tommy Lawless checking in. Hello, Tommy. Big Ed, how are you doing this week? I'm good. I had a good week. Survived a tornado. Survived having to move my uh, cubicle at work. Here we go. Eight of eight. Now we ride for Blackthorn. In fact, I will ride just so I can outrun the trees. It's my last final on Monday, then I get to go home. Awesome. Sorry you have to wait till Monday to take your last final. Hopefully school's going well. Mary Rose is feeling better. Good. Pond says, sometime soon I want to go see West Side Story in theaters. It's been out maybe this weekend. Cool. I go in tomorrow to get four new tires. My Christmas gift to me. Caught a cold, finally feeling human again. Worst cold I've ever had. Felt like both flu and cold at the same time. That's rough. I had a heck of a cold for a couple weeks. Coughing and sneezing and congestion and I had to get COVID tested and it wasn't COVID. I know it wasn't COVID, but you don't show up hacking and coughing and go, no, you didn't get tested. Those are the people that when I talked to them when I was contact tracing, I would just try to convince them, it's like, no, that's entirely not your fault perfectly reasonable for you to be that sick and to not get tested for coronavirus. Is there some clinic that's doing COVID testing like right in the middle of one of the shopping mall parking lots? You know, nobody goes to the mall anymore, so they've got plenty of space to share. I drove in. I didn't even have to get out of my car. Um, somebody swabbed my nose through the door. And I got the uh, antigen test, the rapid test, so it was just a little beep, beep. They just wiped around the sides of both nostrils. And I had the test results uh, texted to me before I even got home. I came walking in the door like 20 minutes later. Mrs. Mustafa was like, well, are you, do you have COVID? I'm like, I don't know, let's check and see. Nope, I don't have COVID. So... Darkness no more. I can go to What's-His-Name's camp. We ride for What's-His-Name's camp and for glory. You know what we haven't popped up yet? What are we giving away this week? Morale bubble potions. Bubble up! That's a good code. Hopefully I'm not the only one old enough to remember this, but uh, there used to be a lemon lime soda called Bubble Up that was uh, basically a competitor to set up. It was pretty good. I don't remember who bottled bottle, 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 Bubble Up. It was the same folks who did Double Cola back in the day. You know, these freaking trees just couldn't leave me alone. Like, go back to your woods and I'll stop killing all of you. Really? You're still coming? That's what I thought.
Yeah, bubble up used to be a thing. I like lemon lime soda too. I wish Sprite Zero was available in those half liter bottles that I like. Although it doesn't have any caffeine in it. Still, it's good drinkable soda. Will you aid the horse lords? I have a lot of crap jewelry I don't need that our I can Our success get depends upon our strength. Guardian you aid of us? the shrine. Fastrolacan. The dragon of the west fold. Sounds like a whole lot of work for jewelry I don't care about. And rep with a faction I'm already kindred with. Yeah, I, I don't need that quest, but thanks. But we do have merchants, so it's everybody's favorite part of the stream. We've already done some task item turn-ins. Let's get some inventory management in. We travel swiftly, but we will aid you as best we may. Oh, there's a fun thing I heard about. Uh, it got mentioned on the Full Nerd podcast. I think somebody was talking about uh, Coca-Cola Beverly. Coke makes a lot of regional sodas uh, for different parts of the world. Uh, I've mentioned Manzana Lift before, which is their apple-flavored soda. It's terrific, and they only sell it in Mexico. And like, I think it would sell just fine here in the States. I don't know why they don't market it here, other than they don't want to. Um... But, uh, like, there's a Chinese soda that's watermelon flavored. I'd love to try that. But this, uh, this uh, Coca-Cola Beverly, apparently the only place you can get it right now, it's been taken off the market and probably for good reason. Uh, if you go to Epcot, there's a Coca-Cola World uh, setup where you can try all these different beverages. And they still have uh, Coca-Cola Beverly available to sample. And if you actually do a, a image search in Google for Coca-Cola Beverly, you can see a whole lot of pictures of people who just took a drink of it, and they're like, uh, it was designed as an aperitif, uh, a beverage that you drink right before eating to help aid digestion. And apparently it's rather bitter and unpleasant tasting, uh, at least to American palates. They designed it for the Italian home market, and apparently the Italians didn't like it much either because Coca-Cola pulled it from the Italian market too. But uh, I think it's pretty funny that there's an awful tasting soda out there by design. Golden earrings. Somewhere I have an extra essence. There it is. I 
Okay, got a whole bunch of stuff to mail off to Gore. And there's no mailbox here, that's okay. And I don't want to deal with him. I guess we can ride for Stoke. Hearted says Manzana is good. Right? When you're actually in Mexico, it's it's the cheapest thing on earth, too. Mrs. Mustafa and I were walking around Playa del Carmen in the heat, and we were just hot and thirsty, and I'd only brought a little cash with me, and we'd spent most of it earlier. It's like, oh my god, what can we buy to drink? And it's like, uh, expensive, 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 expensive. Manzana lift, 10 pesos. It's like, sold. <laughs> it's like, uh, what is this? I don't know. Let's give it a try. It's like, holy crap, this is good. That's clearing some pack space. I don't think anything else scholar related. We'll send that off to our Bjorning scholar who can't remember which Wednesday. There we go. Hi, Pookie. You need more chips or you're okay? Uh. Have you opened the pork rinds yet? Yeah. Yeah, I'd take some of those. Let me yeah. just throw them right on top of the remaining chips. She got salt and pepper pork rinds today. Today or yesterday? Today. Today. I'm trying to remember if there's a vault in town here. I don't think there is. There might be. That's the tavern. I guess we can finish our task item turn-ins. Uh, what do we got? Plenty more daggers. Acres exploration complete. That was good for five more Lotro points. So it's a good night for Lotro points again. Task item turn in complete. Ten of ten. Look at all that pack space I've got available. I guess I could have gotten rid of some of these branches too. That would have been good. The Mossies are 84th level. I had another giant stack of them somewhere. Aren't you cold? And I'm warm. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Pookie. You need a slug? Ow. 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 Your hair's all tangled? Ow. Did you fall asleep and get gum in your hair? Mm -mm. Just a barrette. Normally if Mrs. Mustafa brings me a Coke Zero, it's because she wants a drink. Her not being able to open bottles is, is working to my advantage. 
Thank you, sweetie. Hey, Mrs. Mustafa. Hey, it's Rushi says hello. Baka says, and yes, your bags have looked much better lately. Glad to catch you still online. I thought you'd have finished by now. Not nah, feeling pretty good. I'm going to go for probably at least another hour. Good to see you, Bacchus. Bacchus and Hard Hit and Zinger and Gore and Freelancer and Owen32 and Val and Kalingweth, a.k.a. Young Sean. And am I missing anybody? Who all was with us on Dragok? That was a good time. You'd have really had a good time if you'd been there, Kiana. I think I'm ready to advance. The Rohirrim aren't grateful for your aid. Celebration of victory. Wardlack wants me to convince uh, Frithild. What brings you to these lands? To have a feast, and it all goes. Despite Reeve well. Frithild's misgivings with the victory at Bath Doram. Thane Ordlark has prompted her to hold a celebration feast. Don't eat the salmon moose, Frithlid. Greetings, friend of the Rohirrim. It's an old Monty Python come back or call back rather. We're all cheering her and then she collapses. Aid is welcome, friend. Greetings, friend of the Rohirrim. Fell to treachery. These salt and pepper pork rinds are fantastic, by the way. <laughs> we wouldn't have gotten mad at you, Canna. We would have laughed at you. Canna tried to run uh, Dragok with us a while back, and he had a, a lot less luck with the uh, dragon fire than the rest of us did. What brings you to these lands? We would have mocked you, but it would have been out of love. The Rohirrim have need of your services. To appease the grief of Reeve Frithild's children, Thane Ordlock has chosen to hold a private and unsettlingly cheerful funeral for the late Reeve of the Broad Acres. Our mission is dire.
What business have you with the Rohirrim? Did that say upon her state? It did. I've heard of lying in state, but I've never referred to I've never heard a body referred to as her state. Will you aid the horse lords? to go out at night. There is so much danger. I am afraid. Talk to Dudzig. What business have you with the Rohirrim? I'm sorry, Ken. I don't know why we let hard hit lead you astray. You might have soloed Dragok if it hadn't been for hard hit. What business have you with the Rohirrim? Our success depends upon our strength. Will you aid us? There is so much danger. I am afraid. You should be afraid. The man who poisoned your mom is sitting to your left. Uh... Speak to Gandalf, talk to what's his name at the uh, Reeves house. Spoilers, Ed! Oh, sorry. I thought it was pretty obvious, actually. If that surprised you, you weren't paying attention. Aid the horse lords. Do you want to say hi to everybody, Pookie? She's trying to burp, but she didn't get enough Coke Zero. Let me say hello properly. Okay. Beverage. Bacchus and Mary Rose say hi. The characters I've aria up, I still make them go through Rohan. I love the landscape and soundtrack. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Good one, honey. 
That is Mrs. Mustafa's way of greeting y'all. That's my love to them. Where is... Where did go? In the trash. Oh, I thought it fell out. Nope. If I couldn't hit that waste basket with a Coke Zero bottle cap, honey, we'd be knee deep in Coke Zero bottle caps. We'd be drowning in them. What business have oh, you geez. with the Rohirrim? The Rohirrim will need your aid. Actually, they asked anybody, please, for the love of anything, help us. Spy among us. Hard hit, that's very generous of you to let Canna claim your kids on his tax return. Hard hit gets to write off Ethan on his taxes, cause you know. Apparently the physician is hanging out at the tavern as well. Yup. What brings you to these lands? Will you aid the horse lords? Grimlack headed out on the northeast gate of Stoke on horseback. Follow after Grimlack. I think Zinger's old Dell notebook had plenty of life left in it. I don't know why he replaced it. Black didn't make it. Sure, I just have to remove the potato from the inside. Hi, Geek's Tour. 
So what are you doing here tonight? Deeds? Leveling? Mostly, uh, just completing quests. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna level tonight, but I have completed some deeds. Ah, Bacchus got a new 32-inch monitor. Very nice. What business have you with the Rohirrim? The Rohirrim will need your aid. Ride for vengeance. Rafferty checking in. Hello, Rafferty. Now you got Ken all hungry for potatoes. He did not make it. So where are these brigands I'm trying to catch? Kill the brigands, defeat the brigands. On an unusual token upon one of the brigands, it should bring it to Thane Ord Ordlack. It's easy for me to say. Let's 
Sounds like some good grilling, Kiana. the difference between a Boston butt and a regular uh, pork butt. What business have you with the Rohirrim? The Rohirrim will need your aid. She suspects her husband of treachery. She's like Mrs. Mustafa. If she thought I was up to no good, she'd wrap me out in a heartbeat. Lock him up and throw away the key so I don't have to fight him for the TV remote. Can do. Got pretty good smoker. So a Boston butt's just a regular pork butt. Do they trim it differently or... And don't get me wrong, ain't nothing wrong with the pork butt roast. Holy cow. That is good eating. It's actually the shoulder. For some reason they call it the butt. is dire. The Rohirrim have need of your services. Thane Ordlock, revealed to be the traitor who orchestrated Reeve Frithil's death, has claimed regency of the Broad Acres and the Reeve's children. Young Thane Torfirth of Torsbury prepares to ride against Stoke and take back the seat of the Reeve. What business have you with the Rohirrim?
mission is dire. Lord Black didn't make it. What business have you with the Rohirrim? Next time I cook one, I'll put it in your Discord. Ooh. When you go to barbecue place and order a pulled pork sandwich, it's from a smoked Boston butt. Business of you with the Rohirrim. Just came to get my shoes. Those aren't as good as the ones I'm wearing. All right. Well, that's cleared up. It's uh, it's pretty straightforward, Canna. You just have to go to uh, Rivendell and wade through the choices, and it's pretty straightforward. Your children's father should be able to walk you through it easily enough. If you have any questions, just let him know. Boy, that took a long time. What the hell happened to that scroll? Let's go find Gandalf and then we'll go to Marton as promised. Uh, for those of you who saw the uh, photo that I used for the uh, Twitter message announcing the stream tonight, that was actually Kansas and not Western Rohan. Uh, there's a prairie fire deer walking around inside of the flames. It's a weird picture. Looks a lot like Marton here in Western Rohan. We ride for Gandalf, ride for Gandalf, we're going to see Gandalf, cause you know Gandalf. Aww. You shouldn't think that way, Canna. She probably doesn't even know you're back there. She doesn't have eyes in the back of her head, you know. Wait, what were we talking about?
Okay, I'm going for the big one here. Looks well, good, actually. When you get a weird oversized piece like this, you worry that it like didn't get seasoned or got overcooked or it got undercooked. But that is just a perfectly seasoned, perfectly crisp, giant piece of chicharroni. Avoid the war band. Avoid the war band. Don't fight the war band. Avoid the war band. He laughs, can't defend himself exactly. You know, Hard Hit, as much time as you and Canna spent hanging out waiting in line over at Ethan's mom's house, I'd think you'd be nicer to Canna. Wolf. Oh, I haven't even gotten to Warg Slayer Advanced yet? Holy cow. Look, this frail old man seems lost. He's just stopped in the middle of the road. Do you need directions, sir? Do you not know how to get back to your retirement village? Uh, well, do I want Aowen to move on to Dunharrow? Or do I want to just go on to Marton and fight? I'm pretty much good either way. We'll go to Marton. I can always go to Edoras later.
Ooh, a tater. That could be like the same kind of potato that powers Singer's old computer. It looks dangerous, so I won't engage it this time. Gamer Extreme 69 checking in. Hey, how are you? There's just an Uruk standing out here in this field. Not the goat. Fight the Uruk. Seems a bit bewildered. smart man. Northwest it is. There's one rule, never pass up a Kraban. I had to kill a lot of these crows. Lotto is lagging. And by Lotto, you mean Lotro is lagging? Yeah, I've had some weird hitches, too. Better than it was Wednesday. Like Wednesday night, I just kept freezing up for like a second, second and a half. Can't wait to file taxes this year. All the payback from hard hit. I'm going to be able to afford the best gaming rig, Ed. Be watching your Discord for PC advice. Okay. Yeah, my tablet messes up a lot of words. No worries. I knew what you meant.
be nice if they added more frost options to the game. The frost spells are really powerful, but there's only three of them. Fourteen forty P, nice. VA or IPS? Curved or flat? How high does the free sync range go? VA and flat. Oh, that's good. Most of the VA panels are curved. Which I think on a 32 would be fine. My problem is for streaming, I have to have a couple of different monitors. So I've got a pair of flat 27s. I have to say, for as much hype as I hear about IPS over TN, I have an old ViewSonic TN 144Hz monitor, um, FreeSync enabled and a new 165 hertz 1440 IPS monitor and there's that much difference I mean maybe it's because I got a good TN panel back in the day ViewSonic doesn't really make crap um, and in all fairness I didn't buy the best IPS monitor either Pixio's a value pick but it was highly rated. It's a good, good monitor, good panel. We got goats, we got grazers. all the way up to 165 hertz it's smooth yeah that is one thing I'll say if you don't have a high refresh monitor even for something like Lotro as long as you got a video card to push the frames I remember the first time I hooked up my uh, USonic monitor I was like wow just the way flags waved in the intro screen it was like oh my gosh that looks so so much better it was eye-opening. Impressed with how big a difference having a free sync monitor and card makes. No tearing is a good thing. Well, I would have thought tearing was only visible at lower frame rates. Once you get up to 100 frames a second, you're not going to notice the tearing anyway. Or I'm wrong, one of the two. Acer Nitro 5, Intel 5 of the G4 1650 handles Lotro quite well. Yeah, I imagine it would. Hi, Herkimad! That's who was with us. Herkimad joined us for Dragok, too. I was just in the back of my head, I'm like, who am I missing? We were talking about doing Dragok on Wednesday. Herky joined us.
Batman Arkham City. You are welcome, Herky. Finally made it. Yeah, we've got some other quests queued up for here. Are you fairly knowledgeable with PCs and laptops? Uh, fairly knowledgeable. I uh, have built a lot of custom computers over the years. Uh, I've been an IT hardware specialist for the last dozen years. I'm currently working desktop support for one of the banks. So yeah, I'm an IT guy from way back. Mostly I just talk about uh, PC hardware to keep Singer entertained. He could just listen to me drone on about it for hours. Discord, I've got a uh, Big Ed's PC advice channel. People post questions, I do my best to answer them. to Martin.
What would you rate my laptop at? Low end or between low and mid? Uh, Eastern Nitro 5's normally a mid-range model. Uh, 1650 is not bad for mobile. Um, I'd call that entry-level mid-range. Low end would be anything with integrated graphics, probably. Um, but i5s are good chips, nice and fast, and uh, dedicated 1650 graphics for a notebook. Uh, should play 1080p games pretty well. Erky and Bacchus are greeting each other. The music in the Prancing Pony is too good. Always fun to walk in there and have a concert going on. Not one of the banners I'm looking for, apparently. Who knew? Did not make it. Does the hundred silver equal one gold? I think a thousand silver equals one gold. Chat, correct me if I'm wrong.
Yeah, that happens. Bacchus confirms 1K. Here's one of those hitches I was talking about again. Not the stream, that was actually the game. Stream's been good tonight. Can't complain about that. See, Twitch has been running pretty well for a couple of weeks now. Looking for Big Ed Mustafa? I'm Big Ed Mustafa. Wicked Fast, thank you for the follow. I have mentioned it before. If you come by my personal channel, and I suppose as long as I'm shouting out people, I'll shout me out. Um, there's a link to my personal channel. Um, I do stream Lotro on Wednesdays and usually one other time during the week. Um, but <laughs> if I'm streaming another game like Apex Legends, uh, I may act quite a bit differently and more badly. So a lot of the folks who hang out with me while I'm playing Lotro seem to enjoy watching frothing at the mouth, super wound up, Ed, uh, which it's probably amusing the first couple hundred times you see me that way, but, uh, you yeah, know, personality changes with the game a little bit. Some games are relaxing and fun, some games work your last nerve. Apex is a little from column A and a lot from column B. Sometimes I'm chillaxed and have fun playing Apex, but uh, the game tends to frustrate me often. This is one of the reasons I like it. I like the challenge. I'm just trying to get better. Plus, I'm an old man, so I like playing stuff I shouldn't be able to play. Is Ed playing Lotro? Doesn't he need a or a Apex? Doesn't he need a Walker? I am afraid I of what is happening to these lands. Long as Puppet Box lets me have the Spitfire, I'm good for a five kill round occasionally. Though Ed did amusingly get very irritated when he couldn't swap back to a weapon. Yeah, we got to talk about that. That was crap. So, apparently somebody thought it would be a good idea to count or slow down the ability of players to swap weapons. Well, your fishing pole counts as a weapon. So I'm fishing in Stoke the other day by the Dunlending area. And while I'm fishing, two Dunlendings aggro me. And they start attacking me and I'm kind of laughing like, ha, idiots, I'm going to electrocute you both. And I go to pop in my runestone, and I can't do it. Because once you're in combat, you can't put the fishing pole away. And I'm like, who the hell thought this was a good idea? Feedback for the devs. Fishing pole shouldn't count as a weapon. So I had to run, 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 run away until I could reset and get my uh, runestone equipped. It was very problematic. Ooh, severed heads. 
That's a legitimately nice cloak. Eh, about the same as what I'm wearing. Slightly better stats. Better armor, anyway. Anything that uh, causes problems with fishing is bound to upset me. But there's a lot of areas where there's fishing quests that also involve combat. Killing goats and then jumping in the water with your fishing rod while the water's bloody. Um, you know, those quests in Forakel where you're fishing along the ice by the uh, Ang Marine. Uh, it's just, it's just not, it doesn't even line up with their own content. It's not a good fit. You can't be penalizing people for fishing where it's not safe. Alright, I think we're looking for more villagers? Townsfolk? I can't imagine playing any FPS with a controller because they're just begging to get broken during rage. Uh, mice, mice can get broken during FPS rage too. Unless you're like me, there would be no rage. Pot and Finberry actually played Apex with us a few times. And Ponton and Magical Ducky and I won a championship together. And then Ponton uninstalled the game. So he's like, I don't want to be a lunatic like Big Ed. To his credit, though, he still talks to me. Oh, judging by those clips, I should maybe turn my mic down a bit. I tend to adjust people's audio on the fly, but... I'm afraid of what is happening to these lands. It's one of the reasons why I go back and watch bits of my streams. So I can notice stuff like, eh, was the music too loud? Was the music not loud enough? Did I have the voice stuff mic'd okay? And it's just good to get quality feedback sometimes. Oh, 
Man, those frost spells are hitting. There are not enough curses in the world for the invaders of the lands of Rohan. It's really pretty much up to me to mix your audio in, Bacchus. If I left you up loud, it's probably because it was fine. Potten says, I played Fortnite some too, but after a while I wasn't liking the bots that weren't real players. Yeah, it's a little strange. I don't know why they thought that would add any dynamics to the game. Other than it gave people something to shoot at while they were waiting for actual players to come by. That might have been it. Oh. Look at me go. Ally to the Helmingus. Completed. I am on my way to Kindred. And more Lotro points. 15 more Lotro points. I'm doing pretty good on Lotro points tonight. There's a quest ring right here, but I don't know what it goes to. Oh, I'm just supposed to click on these horses. So the white hand is killing all of the pale horses and keeping all of the black horses. We're trying to. Free the horses. Free the horses. I need any more of those. Uh, I need to find one more trapped person. They're gonna be this way. Does anyone know if collections like pets transfer over to the legendary servers? Uh, that I don't know. Like if you transfer your character? I would guess that it should. But I'm free to play. I don't know anything about the legendary servers. Not first hand anymore. Actually, what's really funny, Ponton, is having played as much Apex as I have, and then actually playing some Fortnite. So, I built that PC for my nephew. I've got it sitting here next to me. Uh, it's my Linux gaming box, spruced up with a new case, new power supply, new motherboard, some RGB lighting. Um, I loaded Windows 10 on it. And just to test the uh, graphics power, uh, I installed uh, Epic uh, Installer and loaded uh, Rocket League and Fortnite on it. And while I was just testing the frame rates on Fortnite, uh, I got it up to about 90 frames a second with default graphics settings and 144 hertz with performance graphics settings, i.e. very low quality graphics. Um, it's got a Radeon Org Slayer of the Westament complete. There we go. It's got a Radeon RX 560 video card in it, which is a little bit like that uh, GTX 1650. It's a good basic 1080p gaming card. 
And um, what was funny about it was just just playing around to test the frame rates. I got back-to-back -back wins in the solo queue. And I was like, dang, this game's kind of easy now. But, I mean, it was on a dummy there account. There are not enough so. curses in the world for the invaders of the lands of Rohan. Alright, I think I've got all the quests done that I can do here. So let's go find the survivors and try to get them to, uh... Get them to town. Cannot transfer to legendary servers. There we go. Nor transfer from legendary unless they decide to shut down the server, which isn't happening anytime soon, nor any plans to. Thank you for answering that question, Pod. Excuse me. I see, so collections acquired on a normal server, not account pound. Oops, he's beacon. Must not be drinking my Coke Zero fast enough. There are many promising hiding spots in this part of the woods, like up through here. Let's go hide in this narrow dead-end canyon. What bad could happen about that? Well, they saved some horses. At least they've got something to eat. Hello, refugees. Ooh, they got a place to fish. That's what's important. She's a reluctant young leader. Alright, now it's time for the money shot. We are fishing. That's a gold piece. Dirty skull. That could be 63 copper if I kept it. Yeah. What? I missed a fish. I never miss fish. What happened?
Rusty axe. Just glad I got my bags good and messed up so they look more like they traditionally do. I'd hate for Val to think she's the only uh, hoarding pack rat. Ooh, other carp. Alright. Well, I did say earlier I'd be streaming for at least another hour, but now the yawning is starting to hit pretty hard, so... Uh, you guys know the rules. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Let's go find another Lotro streamer we can raid and say hi to. Professor Teacher G is streaming. El Galadwin is streaming, and she's part of the stream team. Uh, the Buddha Fist is playing Dark Fracture. He's a former Lotro stream team member. French Girl Gaming is playing Anno 1404. Uh, we are going to go raid El Galadwin. I have not said hi to her in a little while. So join me on the raid. And uh, yeah, if you haven't followed El Galadwin, make sure you do that too. She's a great streamer. A lot of fun. Have a great weekend, everybody. Come by my personal channel and say hi if you get a chance. And uh, hey, just remember to enjoy the weekend and have fun. See you next time. His greatest fear is that we have found it, for there are those among us with the strength.